Practical number 15. Identification of ammonia gas and ammonium salts. Aims of the experiment. To provide necessary knowledge to identify the presence of ammonia gas and ammonium salt. In this slide, you can see required chemicals and equipment. Methodology. First, we have to hold a litmus paper, filter paper dipped in Nestle reagent, and a glass rod dipped in concentrated hydrochloric acid at the mouth of the concentrated ammonia bottle. Since ammonia is basic, it turns red litmus into blue. Filter paper dipped in Nestle reagent is turned into brown color. With concentrated hydrochloric acid, thick white smoke is observed. Next, place a small amount of ammonium salt in a boiling tube. Then add aqueous sodium hydroxide into the boiling tube. Then test the evolving gas using litmus paper, filter paper dipped in Nestle reagent, and a glass rod dipped in concentrated hydrochloric acid. Since evolving gas is ammonia, it turns red litmus into blue. Peel the paper dipped in Nestle region is turned into brown color. With concentrated HCl, thick white smoke is observed. For the third step, take a dilute solution of ammonia and test with litmus paper and few drops of Nestle region. It turns blue litmus into red. With Nestle region, brown color precipitation is observed. In the last step, dissolve a small amount of solid ammonium chloride in water and test with litmus paper and few drops of Nestle region. It turns red litmus into blue. Brown color precipitation is observed with the Nestle region. Observations and inferences. When we hold filter paper dipped in Nestle region at the mouth of the concentrated ammonia bottle, releasing ammonia gas react with potassium mercuric iodide and potassium hydroxide present in the Nestle region and give rise to this brown color precipitate. When ammonia gas react with concentrated hydrochloric acid, it forms thick white smoke of ammonium chloride.
when we add aqueous sodium hydroxide into ammonium salt, it evolves ammonia gas. This ammonia gas reacts with potassium mercuric iodide and potassium hydroxide present in the Nestle region and give rise to this brown color precipitate. Also, when ammonia reacts with concentrated hydrochloric acid, it forms thick white smoke of ammonium chloride. Diluted solution of ammonia turns blue litmus into red. Also, with the Nestle region, it gives the same brown color precipitate. In the last step, ammonium chloride solution turns red litmus into blue. Also, with the Nestle region, it gives the same brown color precipitate.